chances, finding Page. Gary Jones, now Kendall. Jones, looking for Keegan. Gallagher finds Kendall. Offside against Burns, no, says the linesman, and that rebounds off Burns, and Burns has an empty net if he can turn it, and it's gone in! There was no flag from the linesman, and Mr Morrissey is pointing to the middle. Might certainly looked as though that must have been a hairline decision as Burns went scampering through there. Clements came out of the goal, out of the area, in fact, and although he blocked the ball, it rebounded off Burns, and Burns chased it and did very well to squeeze it in by the post. Hibbitt. Toshak was cutting off the route of the back pass to the goalkeeper. It was Francis jump, and here's Connolly. Kendall. Gary Jones. Page just behind him. Joey Jones got in for the tackle. And there's a confrontation between the Joneses. Mr Morrissey comes to break it up, but let's play go on. Not wanting to penalise Liverpool in possession. Keegan. Toshak was pushed over, and it's a penalty. Gallagher suggesting that it was a dive, but Mr Morrissey didn't hesitate. Toshak, eyes on the ball as it came over. Suddenly flat on his face. And Mr Morrissey says, no argument, that's a penalty. Phil Neal, who has scored five times from the spot this season, aiming now to make it six and put Liverpool back on terms. Dave Latchford, feet firmly planted on the line. Some words from Mr Morrissey. And now it's up to Neil. And he's done it. 1 1. Phil Neal. Calm, precise, and accurate with the penalty. Back to highway. Chance to cross. Changes his mind and goes at Page. And the outcome is another corner. Over this time to the near post for Toshak. Not properly cleared, charged down by Kennedy. Case is in there, Kendall is there, and Burns it is who brings it out. It hits Joey Jones, now it's Page. And now it's Keegan. Toshak. Page. And Latchford coming to tidy up, but I think the referee is sending them back for an infringement down by the byline. Another Liverpool free kick anyway. Lines been coming to move the two-man wall back. And the ball played to Highway who hits it well. And Koshak's head deflects it brilliantly. Superb free kick move. The ball just played back for Highway. Highway shot was on target, but if anybody had a chance of saving it, it disappeared with that lovely little subtle deflection by John Toshak. Kennedy, Hibbert, Page back to him. Clements, positive shot. Now Toshak. Highway. Case is free on the right and a well judged run. And good save by the keeper and Kendall puts it out. Birmingham completely exposed in the left back position. Case timed his run. Highway put the pass very precisely for him. Case's shot just touched away with a good save by Latchford. Neil. Thompson, Case, Highway, Callaghan to Highway, Callaghan again, 
non-stop runner. And Callaghan's cross, met by Kennedy against the bar. Kennedy again. And Keegan couldn't quite meet it. Very bad luck for Ray Kennedy. Met the centre with a perfect header. And when it came skimming back off Latchford's crossbar, the second header went across goal towards Keegan. Goalkeeper arrived too, and it beat them both, and it's a goal kick. Keegan. Callaghan to Joey Jones. Case, nice flick back header. Kendall, Case, Gary Jones. Gary Jones who wins for Francis. He's looked a bit more lively in this second half and he's now trying to put Burns through. And Burns is capable of doing it too, but he just caught it on his toe and the ball ran away from him. Disappointment there for Kenny Burns. Ian Callaghan for Liverpool. Toshak ahead of him, Keegan in the middle. Neil up in support, Callaghan. Fullbacks, midfield men, front men all link up so well, support each other so well. And now Keegan chasing this one from Rathbone. Toshak! Well, they don't come much luckier than that. I don't really think that was what Kevin Keegan meant. He's put in well, found him well, but that grin from Kevin Keegan says quite a lot. I think he was going for goal himself, and it ran across to John Toshak. And from there, it was easy for the big Welshman to get his 11th goal of the season. Francis. Styles. Callaghan. Case. And then Callaghan for Keegan, who is onside. Highway. Number four. for Case, and from there on it built up through Kevin Keegan to Steve Highway, and Highway's shot was a peach. Goal number 10 for him. And here's Woods. It's a good one too. Clements was a bit exposed there. Met it well with his fists. Walk. A touch back heel. And a header which Clements is glad to turn onto the bar. But it was turned back in. A back heel from Roberts, a header from Mariner, and Clements was in a bit of trouble. Keegan. Mills following him out and Talbot coming too. He's beaten one, but he couldn't beat the second, but he has got the corner. again it's the case highway double act case eight highway nine and the linesman saying get on with it Johnson jumped well then and that's a header through from Neil for McDermott good save and it's cleared by Mariner but only as far as case Roberts got a toe to it Woods under pressure from McDermott And Woods still can't dribble his way up. McDermott's won it from him. And it's all terribly tight in that corner. And the decision is a goal kick. But Liverpool did well there. The nod through from Phil Neal made a clear opportunity for McDermott. And the shot was only half touched away by Cooper. McDermott finds Case. angrily when a free kick is given against him One understands the tension and the frustrations of the players but they don't help when they react like that and their emotions are shown to the crowd 
header away by Roberts, but it's not firmly away. Smith is there, half blocked by Talbot. Highway now, and a foul on him by Mills. Allowed to go on. Casey's shot is blocked by Burley. Cleared by Osborne, and Highway is down. He was fouled, certainly by Mills, but maybe Mr Willis, who was on the far side of the penalty area, was unsighted. But he's got to get a grip on this game. And that was a foul by Keegan on Cooper. They're now trying to tra attract the referee's attention to Highway. Ronnie Moran is on the field again. He's been on the field almost as much as anybody. And the stretcher is coming on now. And the linesman has come across to talk to Mr Willis. Looks like the end of this game for Steve Highway. It's difficult to say how long there is to go. We are past 45 minutes since kickoff, but we've had more than 10 minutes in which the game has been held up. And David Fairclough will now join the game. And the referee still hasn't seen Fairclough. One might have expected him to be a little bit aware of the possibility of Liverpool wanting to bring on a substitute. And now he's acknowledged Fairclough but has told him to wait. Well, he's come on, but I thought the referee motioned to him to stay off. Case. And now Fairclough. And the referee is going to stop the game and I think he's going to tell Fairclough to go off. And he's going to book him. Well, that really is extraordinary. That really is an extraordinary decision. I really feel that the referee has shown a complete lack of awareness. Having seen Highway go off on a stretcher, surely Liverpool are entitled to expect that the referee will be looking around to see if a substitute is going to come on. Osborne, Walk, Hughes. Keegan turning away from Hunter. Fairclough on that favourite side of his. Coming in now for the left foot. And he hit the bar. It's come for Keegan. Couldn't take it in turn. But that's where Davy Fairclough is so often dangerous. On that side, at that end. He cuts in from the byline, he sets it up for the left foot, and there it went again, boom. Burley now for Ipswich. Weimark, well stopped, but still the ball with Ipswich, but Smith is in again. And that's Tommy Smith at his best. Case. Case wondered about a shot, the ball bobbled, he may still get a chance. Plays it across, Kennedy with a chance to shoot and score! <laughs> I think there'll be a bit of a question mark about the goalkeeper's positioning, but Case seemed as though he was looking for the shot himself. He tried a couple of times, but when the angle wouldn't open for him, played the cross and Kennedy had time to control the ball and place the shot underneath Cooper and inside the far post. Keegan. And Johnson getting in before Hunter. Kennedy. Johnson again with room now for a cross. Towards Keegan's head and meeting it. away from Mills, and he judged the header to perfection. Johnson making life difficult. Woods, 
been a real trier, Clive Woods. A lot of the time, the Liverpool defence has not allowed him the space to play accurate crosses. It's another good example of how the defenders get so tight on the forwards these days. Who is it was who got in the way of the cross? Five minutes to go. Woods takes the corner. He's got away by Smith. Walk will try and turn it back. He does so well, and Hughes clears. And that looked like handball, penalty. Kennedy it was who handled it. Ball came across. I think he was worried that Clemens wouldn't get it, and I think he was probably correct. Reached up a hand, clawed it down. Clear penalty. They've lost the spot. Sandy mud there. They're all agreed about where it should be. I somehow suspect that the way John Walk hits the ball, an inch or two one way or the other, will not make much difference, even to a goalkeeper as good as Ray Clements. Precisely so. 